Health threat number five, dioxins. We've all heard of dioxins. If I gave you a quiz on dioxins, somebody had given me a quiz at one point on it, I wouldn't know what they were. I know they're bad. You know, you put them in two categories. Good, love, good, dioxins, bad. <laughs> That's where we would be. But look at what these do. 150 or so individual compounds of these dioxin family from during high temperature waste treatment and industrial processes. The burning of chlorine rich substances are a disaster to the ecosystem. So, what are we doing? So, now you, how many of you take out your garbage? That's the most exercise most people get today, dragging your garbage out. You know? So, you drag your garbage out, and this poor garbage man, I've never looked at it, but the data and statistics must show there must be some of the sickest people in the world because they're collecting all these toxins and throwing them into the. And then they bring it to a dump. Here in Florida, everything's flat. You know, we're a lovely tropical place, sunny. I love it in Florida, but you know, the only mountains we have in Florida are land dumps. That's right. And they all smell, by the way. You know, you see, oh, look at a mountain. Nope. <laughs> like, it's a land dump. And the land dump, what they do is they burn that stuff. And it doesn't burn. And evaporate, all gone. It burns and goes into the atmosphere and spreads up to hundreds, if not thousands, of miles away in something called the jet stream. Just like I spoke about the currents in the ocean coagulating things, there's also something called the air jet stream, and it brings it worldwide. So I'm in Maine a couple of years ago having a holiday with all my children and grandchildren. It's really foggy, and I say, Oh, that Maine fog. And my Good friend from Maine said, Man, that's not Maine fog, that's from New York City. <laughs> I said, What are you talking about? He said, Oh, yeah, that's the crap from New York City. It comes up here several times every summer. So you think you have this little colloquial, Oh, I'm, I'm safe because I have an air unit in my house and I eat plants. This stuff is being spread worldwide, and they're burning it in your neighborhood. Now, if you don't throw your garbage out, if you keep it in your house, Then they'll put you on that show where people collect things. <laughs> you won't contribute to dioxins, but by the way, you'll be a nut. They'll say, there she is, the cat lady again. <laughs> collecting cats and collecting poison. Air currents widely dispense these dioxins, these particles. Dioxins are found in beef, pork, chicken, animal based foods. Why? Because where chemicals and heavy metals like to live is fat. You're fat. And every single animal's fat. Now, should we eat animals? Do we need to eat animals? No. Now, in the period we're speaking about, an extra added attraction to not eating animals is because now they're putting these deadly poisons in, because when that stuff spreads all over, they're out eating the grass, and it's all going into their tissue. And the ranchers want fat animals because they don't come into the Arena where somebody sits here and says, Hey, I want to buy the healthiest animals. They look at the rancher who has the fattest animals. And the rancher wants the fattest animal because he's paid by the pound. He's not paid by health. Oh, look at how healthy that one is. Come on over here. We're going to cook you. No, the chumpy one, the fat one. So if you took the sickest people in the world, that's the kind of things we're picking to eat the sickest animals, the fattest animals. Ones who cannot even make love anymore. They're artificially inseminated. And hormones additionally are injected into them during the process, including a lot of your organic meats. For instance, with beef, for the last six months, they may have a short period of time, they're out on grass and running around thinking, hey, I'm just a cow, I'm going to be okay, I'm just a steer. The last six months are in the same exact pens next to the same exact. Animals that have been in a factory farm their whole life, getting the antibiotics, because that's permitted. That's permitted. So, anyway, a study published about 10, 11 years ago in the Environmental Research offered findings. The levels in the farmed and marketed salmon that we have analyzed are higher than those in almost any other food. So, now I know this really hits deep in you. Because a lot of you say, oh, the only thing I eat is salmon, because I went to Dr. Schmo, and Dr. Schmo said that's a great source of essential fatty acid. Well, it's also a great source of dioxins, which is an absolute neurotoxin. Your nervous system and your brain is destroyed by eating neurotoxins, and you get cancer from this. 
So give yourself a hand for making a good non-food choice. So as time goes on, we see more and more and more of the nastiness that I just spoke about. And we're going to talk now about the resolution, not so much about the problem. Every single thing that you and I thought were the main course is the main reason people are sick and aging prematurely. And I'll repeat it again. Everything you and I were taught, I believed, was the main course, is the main reason people are aging prematurely, getting sick, and dying of diseases like heart disease, like diabetes, like cancer, like multiple sclerosis, like Lou Gehrig's disease, ALS, like Parkinson's disease, like Alzheimer's disease. What do you think these heavy metals and chemicals do to the human brain? Do you think these are really positive things for the human brain, that your brain functions well, and that you're perky and clear thinking when you put deadly neuro-destroying, neuron-destroying chemicals into your brain? And what do you think when you think you're getting good fats from these animals that you should never have eaten, that are saturated fats that do not have adequate amounts of essential fatty omega-3, omega-6, omega-9? Well, now what we're doing is having that fat, which is called white fat, go into the body and start to clog the veins, arteries, and actually cut off blood flow to the brain. And when you cut blood flow off, remember, you're made of blood. Blood is cells. It's a, a river of cells that not only does this river bring new cells to rebuild tissue like the brain and like the heart and like the liver, but it also carries away the dead cells, the toxic cells, the pollutants. But now we are in our bodies blocking that river, polluting that river, stopping the river from flowing by putting the dam of meat, the dam of dairy on that river.